Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today we are working on a Toyota Sienna. We are going to be replacing a master cylinder because the brake pedal slowly pushes all the way to the ground. We have 188,000 miles in this vehicle. Below the video you can see links uh, to the parts that I'm using and the consumables and let's get started. Um, we have the master cylinder reservoir right here and we have the master cylinder sitting back there. So we will take this air intake filter housing off. I will disconnect the negative from the battery and we'll see how much access we have. 12 millimeter socket for this and 10 millimeter socket for those. Okay, so once you remove all the plastic intake, you have very nice access to the master cylinder, which is right there. So I think we can work with this. Place bottom left corner against the booster back there. And then there's one, I don't know if you can see it, but back there against the booster, there's a top right and then bottom left. So we're gonna take those two mounting nuts off. Um, and then on top of the master cylinder back here, is a steel line that we're going to take off which goes to the ABS manifold and then there's a, uh, a st one steel line on the front here that goes to the ABS manifold. Then we are going to un unscrew the uh, reservoir and then after that I'll pull the whole assembly out and take it to the bench. We have a, we have a 12 inch 3 8 inch extension with a 12 millimeter socket and it reaches all the way back to the nut and it's a straight shot so I don't need my u-joint let's get this thing off all right slowly fish this thing out of here oh I dropped the okay. nut it was under the car <laughs> make sure you locate all the hardware that you lose all right so the steel lines I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the steel lines they, they make a special wrench Okay, so I actually found the wrench I'm looking for, uh, for the brake lines. I'm not in my garage, uh, but fortunately the garage that I'm in had one. And I found it like within two minutes. Like, <laughs> what are the chances? But anyway, 10 millimeter. It loosened pretty easily. So the brake fluid is extremely caustic. I think I'm going to take the I'm going to take the reservoir off. Save myself from dripping brake fluid all over the place. I'll put a little catch pan down here. Take this off, get it out of the way. I'm gonna empty this reservoir. 10 millimeter socket. My screwdriver. lose the screen Get the lid back on so I'm gonna lay some towels out in here just to kind of catch whatever residual brake fluid comes out and I'm gonna go ahead and remove that top nut Definitely need a flashlight. It's tied against that harness, so between the harness and the master cylinder, you get the socket onto the nut. Hopefully I don't drop this one. Okay, I did not, sweet. So now I'm gonna tackle the steel lines. Start with the top one back here. So the top one's off. It'll take you about five minutes to get that one off. 
it's kind of in a tight spot, but this front one's easy to get to. See if we can't wiggle this thing out of here. So there's something still holding the master cylinder in place. There's actually a, like a manifold between the master cylinder and the booster. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate the master cylinder from that manifold just to see what I'm looking at. This is gonna require me to remove that steel line as well. And then there's a bolt right there and then a bolt on the other side. So I'll go ahead and take those off. 12 millimeter socket. I know you're watching this video because I'm supposed to be showing you how to do it, but guess what? You're going along for the ride with me for the first time. There's a nut on the back. Gotta love it. Anyways, let's get that top line off. All right. Now I want to get this back manifold off. I actually think it's going to pull out. There was just a, a vacuum on it that was keeping it in. So that's good to know. That there was no hardware holding it in place more than what I'd already taken out. It's just a vacuum was keeping it in place. All right. Okay. All right, there's the contraption. Let's see what we're looking at here. Here's that, that piece that goes between the master cylinder and the booster. I don't see any leaking through the seals there, so that's good. I'll clean this out with brake cleaner. And here's my master cylinder to remove the reservoir from the master cylinder as we don't need the old master cylinder anymore. And then we'll clean the reservoir. We'll see what the new master cylinder comes with, but in the meantime, we'll just place this off to the side. So I'm taking one of the new one of the caps from the new master cylinder, but keeping the master cylinder in the, in the bag, and I'm going to cap off the open to the adapter that was between the master cylinder and the booster, and I'm going to spray it down with brake cleaner. All right, so now that it's clean, I'm just going to place it off to the side, and I'll take this little cap and I'm going to put it back on the new new master cylinder. So 
So I did the same thing to the reservoir. I cleaned it out with brake cleaner and I'm gonna let it air dry now. A uh, new master cylinder came with O-rings and new hardware. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the O-rings on the adapter between the booster and the master cylinder and I'm also gonna put the O-rings on the new master cylinder. New master cylinder. Right. So I know the big O ring goes on the master cylinder. The large O ring on. And then we'll put the smallest O ring on. And the middle o-ring goes on that adapter piece i'm sure there's a name for it comment please if you know the name of it but this piece right here the mid, the new middle sized o-ring goes on this all right all the o-rings are in place now i'm going to marry the cleaned adapter with my new master cylinder All right, so now that I have them joined together, I'm going to connect to this steel line to my master cylinder. Make sure I start it by hand here. tight that cap that I pulled off of my master cylinder I'm gonna put it into the top of this adapter here there we go now I'm going to connect to my reservoir remove the caps screen back into my master cylinder reservoir and for right now I'm just gonna put the cap back on all right so I have a screwdriver brand new dot three brake fluid eight millimeter wrench I have my master cylinder and adapter in a vise secured I have my reservoir propped up and I have the caps for the master cylinder in the master cylinder as well as the adapter here. So I'll just do it. And I also have a catch pan underneath on the ground. So I'm going to fill the reservoir enough to bleed the master cylinder. So I'm not gonna fill it all the way up. I'm going to take this bleeder that's right here and I'm going to loosen it with my eight millimeter wrench. Without spilling anything here. Take these caps off real quick and place them off to the side. So now I'm pushing the plunger in, plugging the holes up with my fingers and releasing, holding the seal with my fingers. So I'm sucking the fluid in, 
from the reservoir and bleeding all the air out of this. The uh, bleeder screw I had tightened up already. So I'm basically bench bleeding it and it's very hard to videotape this. So that's pretty much it. I'm just doing this a few times, pushing it in, letting the fluid squirt out. It's a bit messy. Uh, when I, before I release it, I stick my fingers over the holes with my rubber gloves so that it doesn't suck any air in. Do it one more time here. caps on the yellow caps back on put a little bit more in the reservoir here put my reservoir cap back on I'm keeping my finger on this lower one for right now while I clean up my mess here. And my next step is install this back. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and insert this in here now. I'm going to keep the yellow caps on and uh, position it into the booster. All right, it's in position. First thing I'm going to do is put these lines back on. I'm going to put this one forward facing closest to me on first. Start it with my fingers. I'm going to finish it off with the wrench. I'm going to do the same for the top one back there. Take the yellow cap off the top of it. Make sure you start that one by hand too. This one's a little bit more difficult because it's in such a tight spot. But we want to make sure that we can start it by hand. Which I have. Okay. All right, finish tightening the top one up. Just snug it up. All right, now all the steel lines are on the master cylinder. The master cylinder and the adapter are in place, uh, inserted into the booster. Um, I have the reservoir. I'm gonna go ahead and mount the reservoir uh, to the bracket here. And I'm gonna put the two nuts to secure the master cylinder into place. So I'm gonna use a, a little trick here. Because I'm racing so far back and I've already dropped one nut, a little bit of paper towel, put it over the top of my socket like that and then place the nut in there. And it's actually gonna hold the nut from falling out of your socket. People like me, I drop things. And so I just take it, and I reach back there and get it started. And you know it got started because the nut right, set so everything into place. Go ahead and spray the brake cleaner back up in here. Clean off any residual brake fluid, which may have leaked out. We'll let that air off and I'm gonna put all this air in and take the stuff back on.
all electrical connections on the mass airflow sensor, vacuum sensor, brake line sensor are reconnected. I'm going to go ahead and plug the battery back in. Uh-oh. Don't forget about the vacuum hoses. All right, vacuum hoses reconnected. Now let's start her up. All right, so now I'll lead the wheel cylinders. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and lead the brakes on this bad boy. I'm gonna start with the front left, which is the closest to the uh, master cylinder. And then I'm gonna go to the farthest. Uh, rear right, then rear left, and then front right, and then back to the front right. One. I'm not gonna jack the front end up, I'm just gonna turn my wheel in like this, and I can access the bleeder screw right there. Eight millimeter wrench. I'm gonna go ahead and just crack open this bleeder up here. Okay. And I'm gonna tighten it back up. Hand system here, I have my boy inside the car and he is going to pump the brakes when I ask him to. And I am gonna put the wrench on in place. Put the bleeder hose on the nipple I got my catch container here and I have the uh, cap off of the master cylinder all right go ahead and hold pressure all right release it pump it down again Release it, pump it down again. Okay, pump it a couple times. Hold it. All right, release it, pump it down. Okay. All right, so you do that. You need to, you want to make sure if you have dirt, uh, dirty or old fluid in your lines, you'll want to do that until you see clean fluid come through. Uh, mine's clean. And then you want to make sure that you don't see any air bubbles. And once you've achieved that, then go ahead and tighten your bleeder valve and move on to the next wheel. Keep your eye on the uh, level of your fluid in your master cylinder and keep it topped off while you do this procedure. So the rear of the vehicle, you don't really need to jack it up either. You can get up underneath it like this. Uh, the caliper is on the rear side, and so you can you can see the caliper's right there with the bleeder accessible. Not really a way I can position the camera. So this is the front right wheel. We're going to bleed the front right wheel now since we've already bled the two rear wheels. And so front right rear, front right wheel is next and then we're going to finish it off with the front left wheel which is the one that we started with and after that we have bled all the air or potential air that is from the master cylinder all the way to all four of our wheels okay so that's a wrap for this video uh go ahead and make sure you top off your master cylinder put your cap back on inspect all the way around make sure you have everything reconnected so if you like this video don't forget to click that like button. If you like my other videos, please subscribe. And I look forward to you joining in my next video. Take care.